Welcome back to the Britannia Coin Company. We're a coin dealer based in Royal Wotton Bassett in the UK. It's been a bit of a while since we hunted through a collection of coins that have come in, and today I thought we'd take the opportunity with a whole assortment of Royal Mint Brilliant Uncirculated Packs to have a hunt through them and see what's there. There's a bunch of them on my desk to show you, and then a whole load in this great big bag as well. Now these coins will filter into our website and eBay shop over time, but if you see something you like the look of that you can't see listed on either of those, feel free to get into contact directly with us. So let's get into this collection. So I've done a bit of organising, just getting the different sets all together so that we're not toing and froing between the different sets, but we've locked it into the bag and we've got this one here. So it's the Platinum Wedding Anniversary for 2017 for the Queen and Prince Philip. So it's designed by Etienne Miller and John Bergdahl. John Bergdahl will be a name you'll recognize for because he's a prolific coin designer, but a lovely coin to start today with. This one's the Royal Albert Hall. This was quite an exciting coin. What year was this released? In 2021. There was a silver proof version of this coin which had a domed finish, which is a really cool standout piece. Um, so this is Anne Desmet who designed this coin. I don't know. I remember this one coming out and thinking that's a really cool idea. And then a more recent release, this is the Platinum Jubilee five pound crown. Again, the work of John Bergdahl. The whole Platinum Jubilee range of coins has been very popular this year, so it's great to see one of these as well. This stack here is the Queen's Beast range, a really popular set and some really lovely coins I personally love. We start with the first one, which was the Lion of England. These coins were all designed by Jodie Clark, the same designer who created the fifth and current portrait of the Queen on coins. But a first start to the set. Following up was the Unicorn of Scotland, the second coin in this set. The third coin, and one of the trickier ones to get your hands on, the Red Dragon of Wales. My personal favorite coin of this individual coin release. It's a really, really striking, beautiful release. And then another one that was hard to get your hands on too now is the Black Bull of Clarence. Very cool coin, if you can get your hands on it. And then this one is the Falcon of the Plantagenets. What number are we up to now? Number five. Number six is the Yale of Beaufort. Interestingly, the Yale of Beaufort has just been released in the Royal Tudor Beast range of coins, which is kind of like the, the successor to this coin range. The White Lion of Mortimer was our second lion in this series of coins. Obviously the lion being something very iconically British, um, it's included twice. Next up is one of the less ferocious beasts. This is coin number eight. This was the White Horse of Hanover. Next up is the White Greyhound of Richmond, one of, again, the less ferocious beasts in this collection, but a very speedy little character for sure. And then the last individual release was this, the Griffin of Edward III. Really cool design, this one. Nice way to round off the collection individually. It wasn't the last coin in this collection, though, because this coin, the Completer coin, came out as a separate release itself, the 11th coin in this 10-coin series, and it is a real beauty, a really popular coin, stunning design, the intricate detail around the coin showing each of the individual um, beasts that we've seen on their own coins all put together on this coin is lovely. Along the lines of the Queen Beast there's this coin as well. Now this has the Lion of England which we saw earlier in this set but you can see the Queen's Beast one is dated 2017 whereas these ones are dated 2018 so it explains that the coin was re-minted in 2018 to celebrate one of the UK's home nations so there we go an explanation as to why we've got the same design but with two different years on it. Pretty cool though. So this is a rather poignant, impressive coin. This is the 75th anniversary of the end of the Second World War. It's designed to look like it's been struck, or well, it's been carved into stone with peace and war. Peace being a bit more uh, visible, eye-catching, rather than the, the war on the coin there, but it's a lovely coin. Then we have one of the many coins marking one of the Queen's birthdays. This is the coin to mark her 90th birthday. And then this coin from 2017 marks 100 years of the House of Windsor. And I believe that's Windsor Castle, you can see on the coin and in the design as well. We've got some more of Jodie Clark's work. This is one of the Music Legends series of coins. This was the David Bowie five pound coin. Really beautiful design. Now this was interesting because although the coin is the same, it came in five variants of packaging. So those of us who are completionist collectors had to shell out for five of these, but um, it's a whole range of fascinating depictions of Bowie 
throughout his career. I think my personal favorite is this one here, but I'm sure you'll let me know in the comments which is your favorite era of Bowie. So this coin is the 50th anniversary of the death of Sir Winston Churchill. Fascinating coin being that in 1965 when he died, um, he was the first commoner put onto uh, British coinage with the Winston Churchill crown. So another fascinating coin for a fascinating man. Here we have one of the very many Beatrix Potter coins. This was a five pound coin. Um, so B Peter Rabbit featured or Beatrix Potter featured on 50 pences for a number of years before moving over for the last two years onto five pound coins uh, designed by Fionn Gwillem. I hope I pronounced her name right, but it's a really pretty simplistic design, but I really like this one. We return to another Jodie Clark coin. So this marks the fifth birthday of Prince George. And we can see George slaying the dragon um, in the design, a design that we see many times on many different coins. But um, it's fascinating to see sort of the evolution of Benedetto Pistrucci's uh, George and the Dragon iconic imagery uh, being updated for a more modern time, I guess. So for a couple of years, there was a collection of Tower of London coins. This was the first one here, the Raven of the tower. The second coin in this collection, in this lovely purple packaging, uh, marks the crown jewels which are kept at the Tower of London. The third coin in this year's collection marks the Yeoman Warders. You'll recognize them if you've been out and about looking at the Tower of London. They're also on the Alphabet 10P series as well, the letter Y for Yeoman Warder. So they made up their appearance onto a couple of coins at least. And then another strikingly packaged coin, the last coin for this year's set. This is the Ceremony of the Keys, by which the Tower of London ceremony gets locked up every night. It's been going on for over 700 years. Another fascinating coin. So I've actually got a pound coin for you now. 2017 marked the circulation of the new one pound coin. We can't really call it a new pound coin because we've had them in circulation so long now, but it replaced the old round pound because too many of them in circulation were counterfeit, which is undermining the currency. Um, but it's, I love this packaging because it shows you all the different aspects and elements of the coin. And when you open up the brilliant uncirculated package, if you do so, again, there's so much more information about this really cool coin. It is in fact, the most secure coin in the world. Here we have a Christmas coin from 2017. It's the Christmas tree. Again, a lovely design on that. So this is another coin that came out this year. It's the 40th birthday of Prince William. Interesting design. It's, um, it, I immediately didn't think it looked particularly like him, but it was supposed to be almost a sculpture of Prince William then minted onto the coin. So that makes more sense, I must admit, but it's a lovely design created by Thomas Doherty. Um, if memory says, was he, did he do Frankenstein, the two pound coin? Possibly, but um, either way, interesting coin for this year. So there was a whole range of James Bond coins which came out that were very popular. Uh, there's a three set of these five pound coins and you can see the first one here is titled Bond James Bond. We can see the Aston Martin and the first O of 007. If we take the second one, we've got Pay Attention 007 with the submersible car and again the O and the 7 uh, following on from the first 007, so building a really cool little picture there. I love the colouring of these packages as well, the, the matte black, the shiny silver, and then if we take these and move them slightly, we can get the third one on, and this brilliant gold packaging. So this is shaken, not stirred. You can see Bond in his tuxedo and the end of the pistol in the 007. So the three of them make up the design with elements of things that are iconically James Bond in it, but um, a really, really cool set this was. And the coins were designed by Matthew Dent, or Matt Dent as he is on the packaging, and Christian Davies. Now Matt Dent you'll recognize because he designed uh, the current definitive coinage for the penny up to the 50 pence. Obviously the old round pound used to be a part of that shield of arms, but um, now that we've got the new 12-sided pound coin, that's no longer the case. So next up, we've got a couple more that have lucky dipped from the bag that aren't in set. So this is the 2015 Royal Birth. The Royal Birth of who though? Uh, the second child of um, Prince William and Catherine. Um, oh, I, I know that Louis is the youngest. George is obviously the oldest. Charlotte. That's it. <laughs> My mind is totally spaced for a moment there. But no, again, uh, John Bergdahl's work on the reverse of the coin. But no, really cool set of coins. Interestingly, all three children have had coins uh, for their births, but I believe it was Prince Louis, the youngest of the three. Um, he had a, I think it was a silver 10 pence, if memory serves, which I felt kind of bad for poor Prince Louis only getting a 10 pence. But that's how the line of succession works. 
Another recent release which celebrated the 95th birthday of the Queen. Uh, there is a variant of this uh, which there was a limited amount minted. Now you could, I don't know if I can show you because of the, <laughs> the way the light's reflecting but there is reading or milling on the edge of the coin. Um, there is a separate one where it has 95 individual uh, readed edges on the coin which is quite a little interesting variant. I think it also came with some postcards or something in the, in the coin which are not too relevant to numismatics but um, if you're a completionist collector like myself and many others uh, you had to get this one plus the um, alternative design as well. Reverse designed by Timothy Node. And Timothy Node we featured um, some of his coins fairly recently because he designed a couple of the alternative designs for the Sovereign coins. So fascinating lovely lovely coins. And then we have 2021's coin which commemorated Prince Philip who sadly died in the same year. Uh, he was approaching his 100th birthday and there were designs for a coin to mark that amazing milestone but sadly he passed just before that. An interesting man with his own links to the Royal Mint as he was part of the Royal Mint Advisory Committee for many many years overseeing the coinage which would feature the portrait of his wife so fascinating man and this one was designed by Ian Rank Broadley so we again Ian Rank Broadley is a, a name you'll be familiar with a gentleman who designed the fourth portrait of the Queen on coins which was used for many many years so a lovely coin we return to the Music Legends series. This one, I think this was the first one, wasn't it? It celebrated Queen, the band Queen, not the Queen. Uh, it's a really cool design. You've got all the different instruments of the members of the band surrounding the word Queen. And again, there's a whole range of these. So you've got this, the Hot Space album, um, Queen Live. I'm not sure what concert that is, but uh, an impressive show, I'm sure. Uh, then we have a kind of magic. Again, these coins are all the same, it's just the packaging that's different on these, that's how they get you. <laughs> and then an early picture of the band there, but no, the start of a, a very exciting series of coins that we hope gets continued because I really like the idea of celebrating uh, iconic British musicians. Uh, designed by Chris Facey, obviously the obverse on this Jodie Clark, being that it's the current portrait of the Queen, but a lovely little set of coins. So this is Brunel, I imagine it's going to be both of the two pound coins, which there we have Brunel's portrait. The second coin is Brunel's achievements or the arches at Paddington Station. A lovely coin. Nice to see one of these older, brilliant uncirculated coins. We're back to Royal Bambinos here. We have got the five pound coin to mark the christening of Prince George. And this was again designed by John Bergdahl, quite similar to the previous one we looked at, was sort of designed by him for a royal birth. Sticking with royalty, we've got the wedding of Prince Harry and Meghan Markle. Uh, this coin, interestingly, is uh, one of the really sought after strike your own coins. So the Royal Mint Experience offers a tour, and as part of that, you can go up, you go up to a machine and you strike a coin, and that coin changes from time to time. And I believe it was either the day of or the weekend of their wedding, this was the strike your own. So there were very few of these actually minted. So if you've got the strike your own version of this, it's a really, really sought after coin. And another coin which I personally love, it's the 150th anniversary of the British Red Cross. And of course, the cross on the coin has got red on it. Any coins with a little bit of colour on it, I think really adds to it. It's not something we see too frequently in the UK, uh, but abroad I know there are lots of countries where they've got circulating coins where they'll have a version with no colour, versions with some colour in it, and I think it really adds to it. It's really eye-catching, and if we had some colour in our circulated coins, I think it would grab the attention of more people and potentially grow the hobby of coin collecting. Well, we looked at the Queen's Beasts earlier. This is the set that has been the successor of it. This is the Royal Tudor Beasts, the first one being the Seymour Panther. These coins all designed after creatures which have statues lining the moat bridge into Hampton Court Palace, King Henry VIII's Palace of Residence. But uh, a lovely start to that. And then we've got two of the second coin, which is the Lion of England. Now, naturally, with the sort of royal heraldry, a lot of it is inherited through the line of succession. So many of the Queen's Beasts are going to appear in this set. But obviously, the Seymour Panther was not one that was one of the Queen's Beasts. Couple of lucky dip ones. This is the Queen's Diamond Jubilee five pound coin, which you can see there. Then we've got the Battle of Waterloo. It's a really busy design, a lovely coin, not one I've seen many of, but um, fascinating coin for sure. 
And then we have another Christmas one. I know it's way off in the distance now, but this is 2018's Nutcracker uh, Christmas five pound coin. A really cool coin. It's been fascinating seeing the packaging as well. Obviously more recent Royal Mint launches, they tend to follow sort of a uniform design pattern. Whereas previously the whole design of the, of the bunk pack is a little bit more unique for each coin, which I kind of miss, I must say. We return to the Tower of London now for this is 2022's four five pound coin set. So this celebrates the uh, White Tower, which is also on a 50p with Paddington Bear who visited the Tower of London on that set of coins too. But that was the first one of the second year's set. Then we have the Royal Menagerie. Again, we've got uh, three lions coming out of this little uh, window looking out into the Tower of London, made for the creatures that were kept there by royalty in the past. The next one and my favorite coin from this set honors the Royal Mint because the Tower of London was the home of the Royal Mint for many, many years. In between the walls, you had Mint Street where many coins were made and you can see the coin actually features a coin, an early coin that was struck there. So a lovely coin for that collection. And then last one, we have the infamous Prisons five pound coin because other than minting coins there, keeping royal beasts, we also kept uh, prisoners at the Tower of London for many, many years. My liberty denied being sort of graffiti at the time of one of the prisoners kept at the Tower of London, which is still there. We've got another royal wedding here, 2011. My goodness, was it that long ago? Uh, Prince William married Kate Middleton and this is the coin to celebrate that. In 2015, Queen Elizabeth II became our longest reigning monarch, surpassing Queen Victoria's reign. And this is a five pound coin that's released as part of a range of coins to celebrate that amazing achievement. And from the current queen to a previous historic king, we have King Canute, a five pound coin. It's a really pretty design on that one there, uh, created by Lee R. Jones. But no, fascinating coin there. Another popular range for the kids, we've got the Mr. Men series. There were three coins released. A couple of variants of this. This has got the colorized version. There was also a non-colored version, which is just the base metal on it. I think the color on it makes the character really stand out though, and I quite like these colorized versions. But this was Mr. Happy. Then we have Mr. Men and Little Miss uh, with, uh, I believe it's Mr. Strong and, was it Miss Mischief? I can't quite remember that character's name. But the final coin we have here, Little Miss Sunshine as a Little Miss coin. So all three of these got the color on it. So beautiful coins. A couple more lucky dip ones. This is William Wordsworth, the five pound coin. It's, a, it's got a beautiful uh, scenery on the coin and then quotes from his work. Um, coin was designed by David Lawrence, another prolific designer. We haven't seen many of his work today in this video, but um, has created many, many coins in his career. And then we have another non five pound coin. This is the last round pound coin design. It was actually a design that was submitted um, to be the new definitive design on the pound coin when it got changed over in 2017 to the current one. Um, but they really liked this design, but it didn't quite make it to be chosen for the new uh, coinage, but uh, they liked it so much they decided to mint one more co round pound coin with that design on it. Um, obviously this one didn't circulate, so it's just a, uh, um, a coin that was an NIFC, but it was designed by Gregory Cameron. But it's a, a lovely send off to a coin that served for many, many years in our circulation. A couple more childhood character coins. This is the Alice in Wonderland two coin series. So this is Alice's adventures in Wonderland, uh, gazing up at the tree with the Cheshire cat inside it. And then following that, through the looking glass, you can see Tweedledee and Tweedledum. So yeah, very pretty coins with quite a, it's not so, not such a sort of a kiddish sort of illustration to it. It's got a, quite a dark sort of design, which I think is quite cool. Uh, again, designed by Fionn Gwillem. And again, apologies if I've mispronounced her name, but no, lovely little duo of coins. And then this coin marks the 65th year of the Queen's reign. It's an intricate, lovely design on that one. And then we have last year's Remembrance Day coin, the going down of the sun being an iconic poem that uh, um, has helped immortalize the poppy as the sign of remembrance. But no, it's a really, really beautiful coin designed by Gary Breeze. Uh, Gary Breeze, was he also behind the Captain Cook two pound coins? This is all off the top of my head, so I'm not 100% sure on that. And then another, our third music legend, Elton John. I think he was the second, it was the second coin released, Bobo being third, uh, but we've got the design that looks like him. It does say Elton John in it, but everyone would recognize that as being Elton John. But again, it's a coin which uh, came out with multiple variants of the packaging, although the coin is the same, um, again, 
those completionist collectors. We have to have them all. And the last one was this one here. But no, definitely a man who deserves to be recognized as a British music legend. Another coin from last year. This is the Mahatma Gandhi five pound coin. It's uh, another pretty design. There's lots of few empty fields in it. But what I love about this coin is the rim of the coin. It's, um, it's not just a uniform rim around the coin, which I think really adds character to the coin. Then we have the 70th birthday of Prince Charles. There's a, a couple of different coins celebrating his other milestone birthdays. And then we have another Remembrance Day five pound coin. Again, some beautiful color in that. Uh, poignant poppy there. It's a really, really pretty design. Designed by Laura Clancy, who I believe designed some of the higher end uh, coins from the James Bond range as well. Our last collection of coins then is a fairly recent collection of coins. It's the Queen's Reign series. So the first coin marks the investitures and honors system. You can see you've got some medals at the top of the design there. And this coin was also the first coin this series as well to feature uh, it, the Queen's signature on the coins as well, which is again, quite a milestone change up. Second coin marks the Queen's charitable work. The, around this, the top of the coin, you can see the Maundy coins, which I think coins on coins is a pretty cool design. And then the final one in this series, which has only just come out recently, to be fair, uh, marks the Queen's time as head of the Commonwealth. And you can see the flags of the Commonwealth flanking her own personal flag there. Then we've got the lunar years. We have only got the one here. That's the lunar year of the ox from 2021. Again, brilliantly bright packaging there, a lovely coin. The last of the music legends. This was the Who five pound coin. There weren't as many packaging variants mercifully for this release, but it did come out with this color version of it as well. And there was also the base metal one without the color on too, and a range of precious metal coins too. But no, a really cool coin and hopefully not the last in the music legends series. And then something very cool. We've got a mini. It's a five pound coin from Alderney from 2009. Um, it's quite cool, the, the Mini, very, a very iconically British thing. And then also for the Royal Mint experience itself, they do have a Mini which is covered in old pennies, which if you go to the Royal Mint experience, it's something you have to get a photo next to. And the last three items from the bag, this coin here, Alfred the Great. It's a really interesting design, a design I was not particularly uh, overwhelmed with the first time it came out. It looks a bit bizarre. However, this is another John Bergdahl piece of work who used the design of King Alfred the Great on a gemstone in the Ashmolean Museum in Oxford and recreated that for the coin. So it's the art of the time. Our penultimate coin marks the reign of Queen Victoria. Interesting coin with around the coin, we've got a whole range of different Victorian inventions, achievements, advances in technology, science. Um, this one again is John Bergle. I told you he's a prolific designer. We've seen tons of his work today. And then the last coin for today, we've got the Golden Jubilee Crown. Let's have a look at that then. And there it is. A lovely coin. Very, very cool. Well, there we go, a whole range of fascinating coins. It's been great fun looking through coins I recognize and have had over the years, coins that are on my hit list to tick off to add to my collection. If you are missing any of these coins from your collection you're looking to tick off, again, check out our website and our eBay shop for some of our listings. If you can't see them on there, do get in touch. There are details down in the description of the video so you can get in touch with us if you'd like to inquire about a specific coin that we've looked at today. Be sure to subscribe to the YouTube channel as well. It's free to do and it means you miss out on any of our future uploads. You can also catch us on Facebook and Instagram where we post lots of pictures of our coins. We're on Twitter and TikTok. We've got our shop and online store, but I'll see you next time for more amazing coins from the Britannia Coin Company.